Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading September 16th to September 22nd, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the, uh, the tarot cards and uh, we're going to jump right into it. So the first card which stands for the topic and the very theme of uh, your week is going to be the star card followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here we do have the queen of pentacles afterwards is going to be the positive aspect of the week here of the two of pentacles and then the last one it is going to be the eight of wands that stands for the guidance so there is no way to mistake this particular reading we're talking uh we are talking about an execution of a, a long time developed plan a plan that goes against um someone into your environment a plan that is kind of like severs a certain ties with either a good friend of yours or with your boss and etc etc but the thing is guys it is that this plan or this goal that you're going to start executing into your life <clears throat> is going to mark a um how do i say it a, an era in your life that the turmoil is going to end that the, the the roughness of the life itself is going to end so uh this week you gemini you can uh, not gemini but cancer excuse me uh you can take it as a um a threshold as a test okay a test you know how willing you are to give up okay in uh, in order to make your life easier in order to make your life simply better but before we go into that let's run the cards one more time so the first one which is the topic here is going to be the star card followed by the challenges that is a, a person of the queen of pentacles afterwards it is the two of pentacles which stands for the um, positive aspect and in the last one uh, it is the eight of wands which is the guidance now that i saw the two of pentacles here into the third um into the third position we're definitely talking about freedom okay or um gaining freedom once again so uh the first one which is the star card is going to be catalyzed or accompanied with the ten of swords so uh these two cards are a an active supporters a very very strong combination it is very violent combination as well now this combination points that this week is going to be the last straw this week is uh, is going to be the very last drop into the over into the already overflowing bucket all right overflowing bucket with with bullshit let's say and that last thing that someone does to you or against you or to the things that which are there to your heart 
is going to be, uh, you know, it's going to wake up the beast within you, let's say it that way. So it does look like that you will not gonna tolerate any longer certain people, certain behavior, or a certain state into a situation. It's, it will be different for every single one of you. Now, it's no different than, it's like you do had a, a certain, it's, it's a plan or imagination, you know, what you're gonna do and improve your circumstances, either in regards to your marriage or either in regards to your career, but you didn't execute those actions because you were fully aware that those actions, while extremely nourishing for yourself, are very negative for a certain people. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give a few examples because I do have a beautiful example for this one, but <clears throat> you are not gonna give a crap anymore because you cannot, you will not be able to stand the situation anymore. You will not be able to stand the uh, the noxious environment into your marriage, for example, or into your, uh, in, into your career. And by the way, when I say marriage or career here, we are not talking about breaking down marriages or career. We're talking about completely annihilating an external, uh, exterior influence that it is influencing negatively, you know, your uh, your possessions and that influence will be faced with uh, um, in a warmongering fashion let's say from yourself where you are to completely smother it beneath your toe so the challenge uh, oh one second before we go to the challenge um, a couple more things to say about these two cards the star and the ten of swords so uh, people will see a, a different uh, different nature from yourself up until this moment they have so probably the uh, the milder nature of yourself where you're polite you know where you smile where you are when someone slap you on the left cheek you're ready to give the right cheek so there is a peace in between okay but on this time around I mean that whatever they do throughout the week or whatever happens throughout the week is going to simply draw the monster out and uh, they will see how fearsome you can be okay it's just i think that you're going to snap out and that will make many people uh, regret you know what they have said or what they have done but on the plus side with these two cards it looks like that this is to provoke a um a long-term goal of yours that now can be chased it's also going to allow you to see which people loves you for real which people were willing to be with you regardless what because the star card it does point to unfolding love and unconditional support you know that that love doesn't have to be intimate but it is love nonetheless and that unconditional support means people you know which are with you regardless of what kind of a situation or a state you are finding yourself at so the very least at the end of the week you are to know who your friends are all right then uh, what we do have it is the challenges now that is going to be the queen of pentacles with the seven of wands so we do have the uh a passive neutrals here and uh, a challenging thing is going to be the uh the detachment or the opposition that you will have to put in to put into this uh, to this person queen of pentacles so let's talk about what queen of pentacles really is so that is a person who is self-absorbed they they're like this uh the the queen from uh from cinderella i think you know mirror mirror on the wall or magic mirror on the wall was the right uh, thing so very self-absorbed you know only thing that this person cares about is what they see in the mirror and in the same time it's like they don't want you into this new phase or into this new stage into your life because queen of pentacles always have what to take um, in a sense of that you you they, they need you for something all right they need you for something that is not yet developed and once you start um going toward this new goal let's say or the star card manifest always represents a new goal uh you go to all this new goal you either have no you either don't have the time you know to deal with their crap or uh, you will not want to deal with their crap and uh the challenging thing here is going to be to resist the temptation that this uh, person is gonna 
is going to present into your life because this is how the queen of pentacles operate it tempts you with material gains you know or with talks with sweet talks and etc etc that, that is the challenge here guys to resist the temptation and to know uh when to uh when to make your when to present your case i would say it that way into the queen of pentacles so uh, the uh, the next one is going to be the two of pentacles and that represents the positive aspect of your week cancer and the catalyst here or the accompanied card is going to be the three of pentacles we're talking about of an, an ocean of options available and an ocean all right um i cannot even begin to explain you what these cards are uh, or i don't know where to begin from explaining you about the um, about the manifestation of these two cards two of pentacles and the three of pentacles first of all they are passive supporters which means it or it's a testament of the longevity of the manifestation of these two cards first of all they manifest itself as a uh, many cooperations okay you want to do one thing that's great many people will support and cooperate you well you don't you you see that it is not your thing you can gonna you, you want to do something different well great those people will support you into that different thing as well so we this is a testament here of the unconditional support that you're gonna get additionally to that these two cards are also pointing that you are to be um how do you say it um guided like guided all right like you are gonna have a couple of mentors or maybe four mentors here which will guide your hand they will they, they want to see you succeed those people want to see you succeed and they will try to transfer every single drop of experience knowledge and skill that they do have into you so they see that you uh, so they see the job get done i mean the job that you have placed in front of yourself additionally to that these um <clears throat> these two cards are a testament for the freedom as well that you're going to experience now there is nothing set in front of yourself all right or there is nothing strict strictly set in front of you you are the master of your future or at least to the near future so you can uh, you can give up on a already outdated concepts you know and outdated and, and outdated plans let's say that way or, or the very least restructure your plan the way you want to make it okay readapt it let's say that way and the last card that it is pointing to the guidance that tara is offering this is the eight of wands and uh, the accompanied here it is the nine of uh, swords so the formation it is a active friends with these two cards and uh, they urges you to be cautious Cautious in the sense of that it is awesome that you're going to have an ocean of a new options available or ocean of opportunities. Now you get to live your life the way you want. That's great. All right. But that doesn't mean that you have to be irresponsible. That doesn't mean that you have to be reckless. All right. So this is what these two cards are warning you about. That you can get carried away. All right. It's normal. And you can become... Um, like I said, irresponsible, reckless, and spoiled as well. These are, this is a combo where one can get spoiled. So what these cards here are urging you, the, the last two, the guidance, they they give you the guidance of a acknowledging that everything comes with consequences, okay? Everything has a repercussions. It's like the butterfly effect. So when you are to explore the opportunities of the star card and the two of pentacles as well, you know, you have to do it into a rather more cautious, not cautious, but calculative a fashion, all right? You, you, you don't have to do something just for the shits and giggles, okay? It needs to have a, a purpose that's uh, that's the whole point and whatever you are to ready to jump into certain opportunity you need to have your mind clear-headed that's that's the whole point of these uh, two cards at the end so um, the example that I would have gave you here it is um, 
that uh, it may regards to the marriage or to the career it doesn't matter but I will give it with uh, the marriage like I said this uh, this is about pushing away in an noxious uh, influence in regards to uh, in, in regards to one's marriage let's say and that noxious influence could come from uh, let's say the parents of your wife or the parents of your husband and they constantly um, murmuring about how bad you are performing to the marriage and this week they can really cross the line all right they can say something obnoxious and uh, that will that will provoke that will simply wake up the beast within and you will not gonna uh, and until, up until this point let's say you have kept a silent treatment just for the sake of maintaining the peace but that cannot continue any longer so you raise your voice and you put uh, these people into the place where they belong meaning outside of the marriage and that actually revives the marriage you know that opens up an oceans of opportunity in front of the marriage and now you get to do whatever you, whatever you like whatever you have planned up until this moment with your wife or with your husband it doesn't really matter because you no longer have that queen of pentacles probably the mother of your life or uh, of your wife or of your husband that was dictating the rules into the marriage other way around so that was the example and uh, yeah, I, I really, that was the reading as well. And I really hope that you have enjoyed it and that you have liked it. And um, we're going to see each other around, I guess. And until then, bye.